For a while, it seemed that everyone was baking bread, making cakes, or taking online cooking classes. During the months of relative isolation, we needed distraction, comfort, something to do with our hands, carbs. I didn't bake bread, but I made my first lasagna. I learned how to roast a chicken with perfectly crispy skin. In the winter, I made soups from all over the world. With food, we show love to ourselves, to others. And that's why food is at the heart of our holiday traditions around the world. When our families and friends come together, we've missed that. And some of us want to show off our new skills. So as we come together to celebrate this season, I'm imagining home kitchens with the energy of busy restaurants, everyone rushing around, creative chaos, people bickering over oven temperatures and the perfect way to season. But then we'll come together around the table with so much food that we'll be eating for hours, reminiscing and sharing stories, old and new. And maybe that's exactly what we need more time to savor the joy. We're all really excited to spend time with our loved ones this holiday season. But if your family is like mine, then you have at least one relative, friend, or neighbor whose excitement is on a whole other level. I have an uncle who once dangled from the roof to hang an inflatable reindeer. I imagine that he'll go even more overboard this year. Maybe he'll buy a life-sized dancing Santa and robot elves, 10 to 20 giant nutcrackers, an enormous gingerbread house, thousands of lights to cover the whole house and illuminate every bush in the front yard. Any other year, I might try to convince him to scale it back a bit, but after so much time apart, let's make the holiday moments shine extra bright this year. We've all been through a lot this year. One of the things that has sustained me is deepening my relationships with my neighbors. It used to be that we just wave hello and hurry past, but that changed. We checked on one another. We bought and dropped off groceries for people who couldn't leave the house. We stood on the street and banged on pots and pans to thank healthcare workers. I felt more connected to the people around me, like we were really in it together. And for many of us, the festive season has always been a time for gratitude and reflection, for recognizing the loved ones in our lives, for celebrating and empowering them, for considering how we can be of service to others in the year to come. And I think the spirit will be even more alive this season as families come together to volunteer, to donate food and gifts, for every story, every loved one, every neighbor, and beyond, there are so many ways to spread kindness and joy. You were there when we needed you most, comforting us, supporting us, never judging. You helped us through long days of Zoom meetings and homeschool. And when we needed to get out to walk the dog or get some fresh air, you were always ready no fuss. You're endlessly flexible and forgiving. And now you are truly a gift to us this holiday season. With you, we can overindulge, play games, and celebrate without self-consciousness while still looking stylish. We know that you'll keep us looking good and feeling free. So thank you, drawstring trousers and elasticated waistbands. We don't know what we would have done without you. No more worrying about popping a button. No more restraint when it comes to our favorite treats. We can always count on you. I have a one-year-old niece and a two-year-old nephew, and I'm determined to be the cool auntie who will know about all their passions. Missing the little one's first festive season was hard. And so many aunties, uncles, and grandparents feel the same way. Of course, we sent presents, video called, and requested lots of photographs, but it wasn't quite the same as being together, seeing their eyes light up, hearing their laughter, hugging them, reading them bedtime stories. We can't wait to reunite and bond with our newest family members this year, maybe even spoil them a little. 
So for every new family member, the search for the best ever presence is on. And there might even be some friendly family competition. My sister and I are having fun with it. I'll say I'm going to get our two-year-old nephew a car and she'll one-up me and say she's buying a rocket ship. We'll both get gifts that reflect what he means to us and we know that what really matters is the love.